it's Friday night. Time to do some art. My Friday night stream? Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to my desk. Welcome to my desk. I kind of have to get set up as I come in. So Christmas is coming. Christmas Eve is Sunday night and Christmas is Monday. I do have to say I will not be streaming Sunday night. Uh, we will be spending Christmas Eve with my family. So, yeah, <laughs> I won't be alive Sunday night. But I am going to stream early Monday morning. Hi, Joyce. Welcome, Joyce. It's good to see you. Um, I will be streaming. I'm going to shoot for Monday morning. And if I possibly can, I'm going to shoot for 4.30, but I don't know. If you don't see me, hi, Mina. If you don't see me on uh, at 4.30, 5 o'clock, try 6 o'clock. I'm going to try to readjust my hours back to 4.30 in the morning. We'll see, uh, starting the new year. But since I can't stream on Sunday night, I kind of want to get my hours in or a few hours in. So welcome to folks that are coming in. Hi, Kitty Jen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me, let me get out to my channel here. Um, on Facebook, I mean, not on Facebook. I was looking at Facebook. Let me get rid of all this rigmarole out there. Looks like Becky just did a stream. I need to go watch it. Looks like she did a Goodwill haul at Christmas time. <laughs> I gotta go see what she got. Becky, Becky, Becky. <laughs> I love to watch Becky and Scott talk about their Goodwill hauls. So let's go into my channel. This morning I was working on bobby pin embellishments and i ran out of time i don't know what i did with the one that i did get. oh i hooked it on to i put it on to this and i want i this afternoon uh, my brother had some company this morning i did get those cards mailed you guys i got the cards mailed well i gave them to my brother to mail and he put them in a plastic sack and I, I need to ask him, did you just put the plastic sack in the mail, drop the whole thing in, or did you put them in separately? Knowing my brother, he just popped the plastic bag in there. I'm going to see what he did. I, I forgot to ask him. <laughs> if he just popped that plastic bag in there, he probably irritated that, and she's probably going to blame me. I didn't do it. My brother did it. <laughs> um, I'm going to put these embellishments on the card banner that Becky sent me. Like this one. We got one done this morning. To get it off of here and put it on to here. Come on, you can get in there. What's holding it? Oh, this one. There we go. And when I get these all made, then I'm going to take this out and hang it on the curtain rods out in the kitchen. And uh, yes, I did get all my, my little Christmas haul put up, most of it put up. I did not get the beaded garland, anything done with that. I'll have to do that. So welcome Joyce and Nina. And let's refresh my chat here. Joyce and Nina and Kitty Jen and Sharon Marlowe. Hi, Sharon. It's good to see you. And Ruth. Hi, Ruth. It's good to see you too. It's good to see all of you. Yeah, this one, this Santa Claus does not show up too good with this green background, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, his face kind of blends in there. 
but I can see it really clear. If you look at it from a distance, you probably can't, but his face kind of blends into the background in there. Okay. So uh, let's see how many I have here. So this one's done. So we're going to count this one as one. Becky probably already knows. Two, three. This one is three, four, five. Oh, it looks like I missed one here. Well, six counting this one, but I got one of the six done. So, I only have five more to make. So, I thought I'd start off by doing that. I worked on my slow stitch a little this afternoon. So, what I did was I just took a piece of tape and let's take another one. Let's take these big sannies because they're not going to fit very good on the and we're also going to do the cotton batting dolls. And let me tell you, they are not going to be stitched because <laughs> I, I'm still learning all that, all the tricks to doing that. Let's see. It's good to see everyone out there. Hello, hello. I did watch uh, Barb Owen this afternoon. It was good, so good to rejoin her. And I haven't watched her in a pretty... I watched her last week, but um, it was good to... And she was telling stories, Christmas, of her memorable Christmases. I have a lot of memory on Christmas. Um, most of them are... Well, just... Not earth shaking, but let's see, where's that bobby pin that I took off? I just pulled it off of there, did I not? Well, we'll pull another one out. So I want to make sure that I cut it below the the bobby pin here. So I want to cut it right in there. This time we're going to cut it this way. Is that what I did before? Yeah, I think so. Because I didn't do a super job at it. And then I'm just taking the bobby pin. I'm putting tape here and here. I'm still not hitting the center there. These are pretty simple to make. They're saying hello to each other out there. What did you guys do today? What did you, how did you spend your Friday? Oops, I want to put it on here. Tomorrow is Saturday. I should go to the library tomorrow. Oh, and I read that book. It was an easy read. Uh, A Cup of Christmas Tea. Have you guys read that? It's a very easy read. Uh, I think I'm going to put that in my Christmas box this year before I put things away. And let's see, I want to slip this on my bobby pin. I want the flat side down. So I'm just going to slip it right, right in there. Just like that. And then I'm going to slip this on up to the fold here. Right. And I might have to trim a bit of it off. Yeah. But maybe not. Maybe it'll be okay. Well, yeah, just a teeny bit. There. I got tape up above here, but I think that'll be okay if I kind of push it down. So, and I got all my Christmas cards out, uh, except for one, and it was one that I was had an afterthought of sending. Hi, Becky. Welcome, welcome, lady. 
it's good to see you. I'm making these embellishments for the for the card so I can take them out there. Let's take this one off. This one, this one was not a, a good fit here. I'll have to redo that all together. And let's see, this one goes here. Where did that one come from? Came from here. What did I do? Came from this one. Uh, let's go this way, though. Since I started here, let's go to this one. This card came from Leah. Bless her heart. Uh, what happened to my... <laughs> Here he is. Santa, do not hide from me. And you, all you have to do is slip. Because I put the flat side down, the kick side is up. So, and just put it in like you're putting it on your hair. Just like so. And bend it over. And there we go. Then I'll put it over to the side a little so you can see the gingerbread boy. Gold glitter! Gold glitter! I didn't notice that this morning. <laughs> Alright, so now we're ready to do... This shouldn't take too long. This one is from Dee Dee Willingham. This card. And get it out of my way here. I'm going to use that other large face Santa because they will not go very good on the on the um, cotton batting dolls. Becky's waving at everybody. Welcome for folks that are coming in. And if you're up in the balcony listening, that's perfectly understandable. I went up in the balcony listening to Barb. Um, Becky says, hi, gang. Uh, Becky says, we went out into the Christmas madness. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you brought home, Becky. <laughs> Sharon says, hi, Ruth. Hi, Becky. Becky's waving. Yep, I'm going to stay home tomorrow and then Sunday... Um, Sunday, we're invited out to dinner, so I will not be streaming Sunday night, but I'm thinking about coming on early, early, early Monday morning, and I'm going to see if I can't work myself back into those 4.30 hours. All right, it goes like this, but I need to put the Santa Claus on here. I need to put the Santa Claus down. So I think I said uh, there were six banners. You filled a stocking for Scott's mom. Oh, well, that's cool. Mina says, but did the two of you take time for a Christmas munch, Becky? <laughs> Did you take time to to go enjoy some Christmas goodies? Becky, this was such a good idea to make copies of these Santa Clauses. Becky actually suggested that. It was such a good idea. Because now I can use my Santa Claus faces on both the... And I never get that in the center. I can use my Santa Claus faces on both the cotton batting Santas and the embellishments here. And what I want to do is put some envelopes, um, the ones that these came in, if I can find them all. I'm sure I didn't throw them away, but... Uh, 
I want to put envelopes in my journal so when I take the banner down, when I take this banner down, I will put the cards in my December daily. But that will happen when I take Christmas down. Now, I got the... There we go. And this happens to be both Becky and Dee Dee's. Let me pull Becky's out a little further and maybe put it like that so it shows a little better. Okay, and then the next one come from Joyce Boring. Isn't that beautiful? She did a better job of her doors than Mary did. <laughs> Yeah, Mary was, gave up and went out and got went out and got cards uh, but I found really good cards so this is going to go pretty fast now let's see I got to find I don't want to use all the same Santas because I want so this one I can use This one, this one I've already used. This one, did I use him? I don't know, I have to check and see. Well, I've got three done, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. So these I'll save for my dolls. And you know, I'm not coloring them. I should have colored them. Maybe I'll color the rest of them and go back when I'm done here. I forgot to color them. This one's going to be kind of small, but it's still, it's still kind of good because it'll fit in there. What's inside of that? Oh, uh, a little scrunchy. Hi, Barb Fillion. Oh, my goodness. There's Barb Fillion. Oh, it's so good to see you, Barb. Oh, it's good to see you. Merry Christmas. Say hello to Barb Fillion. I haven't seen her. Barbara's from Canada. I haven't seen you for a coon's age, Barb. I don't, how old are coons? I don't know. Anybody know how old? Coons get. They're all waving. They're all waving. Becky said they went out for Mexican for lunch. That sounds good, doesn't it? I had brown rice and and uh, Brussels sprouts, which were surprisingly good together. I think my tastes are developing uh, for the better. This one I'm gonna have to trim a little. It's a little crooked. I think my I have laid off of sugar and salt, but I did have I cheated just a little today. I I had I had some peanut butter cups. Shh, don't tell. I was hungry for something sweet, so I had some peanut butter cups. That may be a little short. Oops. Well, if the bobby pin sticks out a little, it's not going to hurt it. It'll just make it. They're saying hello to Barb. Barb said, yes, it's been, it's been a minute. She's been adulting. It's been a minute. It's been a whole lot of minutes, Barb. <laughs> Barb says, hi, Ruth. Ruth is from, I want to say Nova Scotia. Is that right, Ruth? Nova Scotia? She's from Canada, too. I think Nova Scotia is a part of Canada. Am I wrong there, too? <laughs> Somebody educate Mary on her geography, please. Where's the one I cut? 
Let's see. Let's put the bobby pin in there. Flat side down. Because I'm going to put it this way. Kick side up. Sharon says, hi, everybody. Hi, Sharon. Sharon, I got your card off, but I still need to send you your Santa. I think I'm going to have another stream. I don't know if I'll do it next week or in January, where I just have a mail day. I seem to do pretty good if I'm putting all that mail together in front of you guys. I, I got all those cards out today. I was so proud of myself. I have Becky to mail to, and I want to send some things to Janet, and oh my goodness, you guys. I just owe everybody. <sighs> life, is, life just speeds on without me. Let me pick this up. Oops, they all came. Tumbling down. This one goes here. I guess I'm not going to color the inside. Uh, it goes on this. Right in. If I can get it. Right in here. And all these are doing are holding the cards onto the banner. I might have to put this one up a little. Pull that bobby pin down a little so he'll close. He's going to flap open a little, but that'll be okay. So... Oh, you know what? Let's see. Do I have that right? Oh, I picked... <laughs> no, I didn't have it right. It goes here. I didn't get it onto the banner. Well, Mary, do it right if you're going to do it. There we go. Oh, he stays down better, too. So the next card... Miss Darling... I think this is Mina's. Is this Mina's card? Yes, because she made this beautiful. I think this is diamond painting that she did. I don't have the patience for that, you guys. I do not have the patience. Isn't that beautiful? I should take this out and put it on the tree, but is it signed on the back? No, it's uh, in a plastic I'll bet I could write on that with a permanent pen, though. We'll leave it in the card for now. Eventually, I'm going to take these envelopes out so I can put the cards in my journal, and I'll put that little piece in my journal, that little heart. Hang it on the, the Mina page. So that will go... Let me see how this goes. That will go... I want to make sure I'm hanging these straight. That one will go here on this right here's the bobby pin so let's get her card out i just got a couple more okay or these things yeah a couple more this santa this santa is pretty small didn't i just do him on mina's on uh not Mina's on Joyce's. Yes, I did. I. Yeah, I don't want to reuse that one. I think these are the two. These go up here. I can actually use this, but let's go ahead and put the. Thank you, Kitty Jen. That banner is really pretty. I I thank Becky for sending it to me. I also have a mug rug that I have over there. 
I put my paintbrush water jar on it. I don't, I, I got clean water this morning and I haven't done any painting, so it's over there by its little lonely self. Let's see, the bobby pin. Bobby pin's about two and a half inches in length, so let's cut this in here. Right about here. And there? Nope. About like that. And take this and fit it in here. I might have to trim it a little because it didn't wasn't the one that came with that. And as you can see, I don't have it centered. <laughs> it's way off center there. But it's okay for these. And then when I take this banner down in January sometime, I will put the bobby pin embellishments and the cards in my December daily. Because that seems to be where they belong. Okay, flat side goes this way. Because this gets glued down. I want the flat side on the bottom. And the kick on the top. And if I leave just a little bit of headroom here, then my bobby pin has room for its head. And it, it can fold up nicer in here. No, oh, it's fit in there pretty good. All right, let's put Nina's on. I just got a couple more. To bring it down every time I do it, though, and that means I have to straighten it up. So that's Joyce's, and... This one would be Mina's right in here. Um, there we go. Hope that holds it. I don't want I want the little nutcracker to show. I think that'll hold it. If it doesn't all I'll change it, but for now I'm going to leave it right like that. This one goes this way and this way. So now I'm ready for Riri's and Arlene's. I just got two left. Let's do both of them. Let's do both of them. I think I only got one Santa left over here, though. What did I do with him? This guy. Well, I had eight, so they're probably more than eight there. All right, let's put him. Need a tab. Put him on here. <sighs> Who's ST? Cher Lombard? Barb says, dang it. Ruth says, yes, she's from Nova Scotia, Canadian province on the East Coast. Well, I knew it was on the East Coast, but I wasn't sure if it was a part of Canada or if it was its own little world. I wasn't sure. Now I know. Please forgive my ignorance. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm still learning at age 72. 
Now, I still have things to learn, you guys. You know that, don't you? You know that. Sharon L., she meant. Hi, Sharon L. Hi, Jen. Hi, Stacy. Welcome in, Stacy. Catitude. Stacy, happy birthday to you. Today, was it today was your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Oops, I didn't cut this. Happy birthday, dear Stacy. Happy birthday to you. I'm not the best singer in the world either. Uh-oh, this one's short. And this, well, let's see. Let's put the Santa on. Like this. But this bobby pin is long so i'm gonna have to cut in because i've only got one left here so let's make let's cut a let's cut a longer banner here is that too long no Do 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 Barb says, Hi Stacy, I gotta love the catitude. Kitty Jen says, I have to work on putting stuff I've completed colored and cards in my book tomorrow between cooking. <laughs> Stir that gravy, put a page in your journal. Cook the turkey. <laughs> Do you have all your cards sent out? <laughs> Barb says, and cleaning and cooking and cleaning and cooking. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. And there's Chris. Chris messaged me. And uh, she's going to change her hours. From Saturday morning, now if this, Chris, fill me in if I have this wrong, to 2 p.m., is it Eastern or Central? I think it's Eastern on Saturday afternoons. Correct me if I've got it wrong. Please do. I don't mind being corrected. <laughs> I get corrected a lot because I'm wrong a lot. And I've learned not to let it bother me unless it gets too, too unbearable. <laughs> oh. But I do get things wrong. And, you know, I think that YouTube is kind of fooling around with some AI because I said something in my, I was reviewing my video. I forget what I said. But I'm going, that isn't what I said. And I know I didn't say, I can't remember the word, but they used a very similar sounding word. I know I say things wrong sometimes, but this was completely off base. I'm going, whoa, I didn't say that, did I? All right, let's count how many Santa Clauses I have here. I should have nine. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing some Santa Clauses. Where'd they fly off to? Well, I won't get all those dolls made tonight anyway, and I only have one more card to do. Do I have any duplicates here? I don't think I do. I should have eight of these. Oh, I used two of the big ones, so that would be where the eighth is, but I'm still missing one. There's seven. 
And eight would be the big one. Oh, I didn't do Riri's card either. Uh-oh, I'm going to run into trouble here. Oh, I have two here. Oh, here's the Santa Claus. Now I have eight of them. And I should have a duplicate here, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, the eight... The eighth one, I have put two big Santa Clauses. Are these all the same? These are all different. No, no. Oh, uh, these two are duplicates. So I actually have two, though. I'm going to have to print another Santa Claus. Let's take this. Let's take these two larger ones because they'll be too large for the dolls. And I won't get all the dolls made tonight because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Mary doesn't have a clue. Okay, this one I'm going to put on Arlene's. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. This one I'm going to put on Arlene's, so just let me put it up there. And then I have Riri's, so I can put this one back here. And... Now, let's just take this. I think I'm good. I think I was good all along. Let's get these off my desk. They're bothering me. Hold the phone. I have the... I do think... Oh, I put it on the bottom. Grr. <laughs> I cleaned off my little shelf over here. And, of course, I put the box of super tips on the bottom of because it's a bigger box than all this. Uh, these were the postcards I sent out in January and February. I was going to give mail postcard to everybody in my group. I never got everybody's mailed. And some Crayola markers. And here they are. I want to put these super tips back in this box. I've got a ruler here that's in my way. Hold on. I just don't have enough room for everything. I never have enough room. Let's put some of these in here. Let's kind of... And Becky sent me some super tips. And I'm too, I'm hoarding them. <laughs> I will say these super tips and these markers, even these crazy, these crazy art markers I got from um, leftover from my brother's significant other's ch grandchildren, I think. And uh, they're still going. So... If you keep the caps on them, good. All right. I'm going to put this back on the bottom because it's a bigger box. I'll just, if I want to use them again, I'll have to dig them out. Let me put the band back on them. At least I know where they are. They're the Crayola markers, which are super tips that are larger. And this was a another postcard I was going to send out at Halloween, and I don't like them, you guys. I don't like them, so I never sent them out. This was an extra. I like this, but I don't like that. And this was just a book that belonged to my mother, the weekend book. I saved it for that design. It'd make a nice little journal. And then this is just stuff. Okay, I still have one more of these to make for Riri's Re Re card. And I'm going to put this Santa Claus down on him. With all these little bits and bops here in my way. Last one. 
Last one, I promise. Well, I don't promise. I might be wrong. But I think it is the last one. So I got all my cards mailed out. Chris is here. Stacy May. Teresa Church. Barb Fillion. It's so good to see you. Sharon Lombard. Um, Sharon Marlowe was here earlier. I don't know if she's still out there. Uh, do, 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 do. Kitty Jen says she's not turkey she's not cooking turkey for christmas she's cooking a ham well i'm sure i'm gonna have salmon because that's what i had at thanksgiving i don't really care for poultry it's not my not to my taste and i'm giving up red meats because i want to take care of my kidneys i should have started doing that when i was 20. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. I cut this short again. Let's use the other side of this. Um, but they do serve salmon. I like salmon, so that's what I'll have. I'll have salmon, please. And I used to cook salmon for Christmas dinner when I lived by myself. Yeah, I spent some Christmases by myself when I was working. I know it's, I did okay, to tell you the truth. I, I did largely like what I do today. Um, you know, I just I worked on my crafts. I read, I journaled. I, I didn't have a YouTube channel way back then. All right, we want to put the bobby pin on here. I don't even think there was a YouTube channel. I think YouTube started, what, in 2006? Was that the first year of YouTube? I didn't go online until 2003, on YouTube until 2013. That's my 10th year anniversary this year. Ah, oh, where's my bobby pins? Right here. Got all these little scrappies in the way. And kick side up on this. Flat side down. Do I have it right? Yeah. So I watched Barb Owen this afternoon, and she was making uh, name tags and uh, two from gift tags and telling Christmas stories, her memorable Christmases. <laughs> kind of fun to listen to. And I was doing slow stitching. I was adding some more fabric to my stitch rows. They were out in the other room. I didn't bring them in. So I think I'm done with let's get the, let's get these scrappies off my desk because they're in my way. I don't want her to fall. Alrighty. Now we've got Arlene's and Riri's to put on here. And then I can take it out in the kitchen and hang it up and I'll take a picture of it when, when morning comes. So we've got two left here. This one is falling down. I dropped it. Hold on. Oh, I have Kimberly's. Well, I'm going to put Kimberly's with, with Arlene's. I think that's how I did it, because they're both small. And 
let's put that one on on here thank you for this banner becky and let's see i have to put it underneath this there we go and this goes this way and this way and then wait do i have that right this way that way that way and then riri's will go on this side So thank you so much for this manner. This has been really fun to do this. And thank you to everybody who sent me a card. Uh, thank you to those who did not send me a card too. Because I would have been paranoid that I didn't get all the cards out. As it was, it was just the right amount. Let's see what do I have going on here. This doesn't seem right to me. flips over this way and this way and this way all right so i'll take this one of these cards is taller that's why it doesn't seem right to me got a couple of tall cards in there i'll take this out and hang it on the out in the kitchen so now i found some clusters that i had made probably last year sometime and I'm going to put those in my journals. This one isn't Christmassy enough yet. This one's getting there. I might just leave it as it is because it's got the berries on it. This one's sort of Christmassy. <laughs> this one's sort of Christmassy. This one is Christmassy. This will go in my journal good. This one and this, these two are Christmassy. So these for sure will go in my journal and maybe this one and I'll probably fit these in somewhere. Maybe put some more embellishment on them. So let's put those there. What I want to do next, I didn't get one of these super tips put away. Put it up here in my basket. Put my bobby pins away. I got one out here yet. That was just my drawer. Oh, he's not going to fit in there. There. Uh, a pair of scissors I'm going to put over here. A ruler. What I want to do next. I've got a squeaky drawer here. That squeaking is my drawer. Before I do my Santa dolls. is show you guys this what did i do with it it's right here i got my brother a christmas present <laughs> i bought him a long sleeve tee he had looked at it in walmart and then for some reason he said oh i'm not going to get it and i don't think he wanted to spend the money for it and it's not that expensive but i I, I said, well, what size do you wear? And that was like, oh, in August or something. Maybe that's why you didn't buy it, because it was hot out. <laughs> I can't remember what month it was. But I thought to myself, I'm going to go back and get him that for Christmas. And I was at Walmart the other day, and it was still there. And it's a Wrangler tee. Let me kind of fold this up. I'm going to wrap it up in that brown paper that that lady at the thrift store gave me. <laughs> He'll appreciate that. I'm going to leave that. I took the price tag off, but I'm going to leave the, the Wrangler labels on there. He can tear those off. We don't exchange gifts, but he's been moaning around that he didn't get any Christmas cards this year. 
<laughs> yeah, you bring in my my Christmas cards. I said, I didn't get any. <laughs> and uh, I just kind of chuckled. I said, well, you have to send them to get them. Well, I sent Christmas cards to all the grandkids. I go, well, grandkids, you know, they aren't, they aren't that. <laughs> they aren't that good about returning the flavors, are they? And, uh. I thought to myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a Christmas present. So I'm just gonna kind of wrap this up. He did get a visit today from his significant other's son, who I guess would be his stepson. I kind of like him. He's a nice guy. Um, he he's the father of the of the gal who's going to have the baby. He's the farmer who <laughs> put pink powder in the corn sheller, the corn picker, to for the um, gender reveal. And when they revealed it, he turned whatever it was that spits out the corn on and all kinds of powder came out. It was pink. And you know that that meant that meant she was going to have a little baby girl. But he came today, and boy, my brother just talked up a storm to him. I was in there in the other room listening. I let them have their man time. I said hello. I said hello and went back, sat down, listened to their chatter, which was mostly my brother. <laughs> but it was nice of him to come, spend some time. Everything my brother says, though, every other word is, I want to go fishing. <laughs> oh, they don't fish. They're not that crazy about fishing. And my poor brother, he lost his fishing buddy, and he hasn't found a replacement. And, you know, they, that family, you know, they, they can take so much of it. My, my nephew takes him every now and then, but... My nephew's not that great on going all the time either. You know, he's, he's got family of his own to take care of. How far up does that go? To there. But he had a good time visiting. I think my brother enjoyed it. Enjoyed the visit. Brought him Christmas salami. <laughs> I don't eat that stuff. It's too much preservative in the meat for me. That's okay with my brother. It's just more for me, he says. Brought him two rolls of it. Now let's put some there. I appreciate my brother. I appreciate him. He's given me a roof over my head for the last seven years. I don't know what I would have done without having a place to come and stay. And he lets me rule the roost in this room, do whatever I want to do. And you know, so I don't mind getting him a, a thank you Christmas present. I've even, he's even started doing his own supper dishes because I don't eat supper with him anymore because he cooks all that sausage and ugh, hamburger. So I suppose you won't eat my chili anymore either. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind having the, 
the beans part of it, but I don't know about all that hamburger and all that. Well, I guess the chili powder wouldn't hurt me too much, but I'm not crazy about all the hamburger that he puts in it. He likes his meat. But he's started doing his own supper dishes now, which I appreciate. Every now and then I have to do the pans. But he puts them to soak. I said, would you just soak them? Dump all the grease out. We got a, a, a pan that we put this old grease in. And uh, I said, dump the grease out while it's still hot. So I don't have to fool with congealed grease when I wash it. And he started doing that. So he's, he's being good. <laughs> I can get this in here. So I appreciate that part. I do all my own dishes. I've even started buying all my foods. I don't think it's fair to expect him to pay for my my special vegetables. <laughs> so I don't like the canned version because they got too much processed salt in them. So I either buy frozen or fresh. Oh, that's a poorly wrapped package, isn't it? Oh, well, he'll appreciate that. He'll he can rip it open. Now, I shouldn't have put those super tips away. Let's put a... Let's put an old Christmas card on it. I'll do that later and put a ribbon around it. And I'm going to give it to him for Christmas. <laughs> I'll set it out there on the table where I usually put the mail and put the brother Tom from Mary on it. I'll put it up here for now. All right. Let's see what's going on in chat. I've been chattering away. I'm only going till 10 o'clock tonight. What's on the floor here? Oh, that sack. That sack shirt came in. Okay, let me come out and look at chat, and then we'll move on to the dolls. Uh, let me refresh. Welcome to everybody who's come in. We want to start at the bottom. Hi, Allie Kay. Stacy May. Hi, Lula Reads. Three sleeps left until Christmas, Lula says. Lula was... New in my channel this morning. It's good to see you again, Lula. Merry Christmas. Kitty Jen is here. Teresa's here. Hi, Teresa. She says, thank you, Jen. I will be fine. I will call everyone and wish them a Merry Christmas. Oh, are you going to be alone at Christmas? Oh, your family's sick? Oh, well... I will be streaming Christmas morning, early Christmas morning, and Dee Dee, I checked with Dee Dee to see if she was coming in on Christmas morning, and she is at her regular time on a Monday, but I'm not going to stream on Sunday night, so I'm going to shoot for 4.30 till 7.30 Central Time. Dee Dee comes on at 8.30 Eastern on Christmas. And I don't know if Janet Young is coming on. If Dee Dee does, Janet might. I don't know Janet's plans. But I messaged Dee Dee to find out if she was coming on. So if you're alone and if you're awake, pop on in. Say hello to us, even if you don't stay. Put on some Christmas music. Uh, put on some... Uh, and just, you know, light a candle. Um, and, of course, you can call them, can't they? Can't you? Um, I think uh, Janet Nash, uh, not Janet Nash, Janet Baum has been feeling poorly, too. So, um, I don't know. She may be getting better by now, but it's not fun to be sick at Christmas. Jan um, Teresa's not sick. Her family's sick. This hat is so pretty, but so many color changes means a bunch of tails to sew in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I noticed your hats are, are very colorful. I think, Becky, you're using up your leftover yarns from other projects. Did Sherry Van pop in? Hi, Sherry. It's good to see you. 
Hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas. Kitty Jen says, for not knowing what you are doing, you are more organized than me sometimes, Mary. <laughs> it's disorganized organization. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing with these. I, I am not going to sew them. I'm not even going to hand sew the cotton bedding. I'm going to make me a pattern. And, and I'm going to... This is pretty thick cardboard. I'm going to hot glue them on. Uh, let's start with that. Let me finish chat, though. Oh, I am finished because I'm back to where Kitty Jen says, I'm not cooking turkey, I'm cooking a ham. Stacy May says, I'll be live Christmas Eve. So that's the 24th, that's Sunday evening. And a day for those that need a place to hang out for a while. So Christmas Eve is Sunday evening. So I won't be live, but Stacy will be live. So if you need a place to hang out, there you go. So I need a piece of, let's just use this. This is what my Goodwill haul came in. <laughs> And we're just going to, I'm going to make a pattern for, now, he, he needs an overcoat, and he needs pants, and he needs some sort of a, a vest. But this isn't going to be, these aren't going to be dolls that, these are going to be ornaments. So they aren't going to, this, they're not going to be, I'm going to take and re you know they're not paper dolls to where you change the outfits so what i was thinking let's do the pants first i need a pen i found i found the pair of little scissors that i bought several several weeks ago i bought them and i knew i had them i don't know they just showed up they just showed up <laughs> Let's see, I want a, a, a pen. So I'm going to keep them up here. I have one, I have one little Greek yogurt container that I put all my others, my all my little pails and on that little slender cart that I have over the side of my desk. That works really well, but I'm still reaching up here for stuff. So what I thought I would do here and let's just trace this like this now the pants are going to be a problem the legs so i think what i'm going to do is cut when i do this where's my old scissors i think i'm going to cut because the legs will the legs will be covered up I'm going to make the legs more slender here so that I have room for the pants. And it won't matter because all of this is going to be covered up. Let's bring this up a little more. And we'll do one and see what happens. Let's see. I think I need to cut this one. And Becky, uh, now Becky, if I was as talented with, as Becky with sewing. All right, so I think this is going to, I think I'm going to slender him down in here too, a little. And it won't matter because it's all going to be, sh he, he really just needs um, bones. He just needs bones. He, he doesn't need jeans on. And what, the way I have them now, it looks like he's got pants on, you know. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut him down a little here. Because I need to fit his pants on. And I'm going to glue them. <laughs> And you'll see what I mean. Maybe. 
and I probably need to even even out the torso a little too here. Give him room for the coat and whatnot. All right. Now, if I make the pants a little bit in here, but I need to allow for a glue session here. So this, I'm saying, is going to be, was the outline of the legs. I've cut them down a little. But if I go around here, now, this is the problem, though. Let's see. Let me retrace this line. So, if I come down here, I'm going to need, I might have to even after I get this done, um, cut the legs down a little more. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Where's his foot here? He's got a foot there. What happened to this foot? Did I have him this way? Well, it doesn't matter because the pants don't go on the feet anyway. But I'm going to cut two of these and glue them together. But I'm going to glue them together after I put them on him. So otherwise, let me cut these out a little. I'm going to kind of leave a space. The glue is going to come right in here with those between those two lines. So I'm going to kind of glue them on him, so to speak. I don't know how they made their cotton dadding dolls way back then. They probably were talented and took time to do it properly. Now, I don't have to worry about gluing the bottoms. Let me cut them like that. And where, what I'm concerned about is that it's not going to fit very good in there. In the crotch area. All right, let's cut a couple of pieces out of the, and I think I'll use my little scissors to do that, and this is cotton batting, and let's just take a, a piece of it. I should get my fabric scissors out, but these will do for tonight. Looks like I already cut a swatch out of this. Wow. Where's my pants? Where's my pattern? On the back. Got scraps on here. If I cut it right in there, where's my doll? Where'd you run off to? Well, I might have room. See, what I'm thinking about is cutting two pieces of cotton batting and putting putting it on him like that and then gluing the other piece on top. Um, maybe come up a little further. Uh, maybe I should cut, cut his pants a little shorter. Here. Let's cut his pants because these are his boots. Let's cut this right there and right there. And I am going to, I'm going to hot glue them on, the cotton batting on. 
So he'll look kind of fat, but I guess I could fold it over. See, I should have made his arms different, but well, let's just see how he turns out. Let's just see how he turns out. I'm not giving up on him. Uh, I'm just going to. I'm going to trace this on here. I had a pen. And it's going to be glued down anyway, so I'm not going to worry about pen marks. I'll use the, the ink side in. I didn't say this was a sewing project. <laughs> this is a craft project, which means I can glue. Uh, this isn't drying very well on the cotton. Should just cut it out, but we'll see. I might cut that up a little further. So I don't think that's going to be a good idea there. But we'll, we'll see after I get it on there. Alrighty, that's good. Now let's just cut these out. And this may be you all off base. We'll see what happens with him. In other words, he's going to kind of have a little seam in the on the sides, but he's he's kind of got a little bit of a maybe a sixteenth of an inch on this, maybe a thirty second of an inch. Let's cut this up a little further. Um, notice I'm not using any pins. I'm just cutting it, cutting it out here. It seems to be going okay. Becky is going, oh my God, what is she doing? <laughs> this is not a sewing project, Miss Becky. This is a craft project. Okay, now let's cut the leggings. Uh, legs here. If I can get my scissors in there. And cut them here. Get in there. Hmm. You can tell this is batting because it's really fluffy, furry. My blades don't want to get in there. There. Now, since this has ink around there, I'm going to turn it, turn these this way and make them cleaner. And what I'm thinking is I'll glue this guy right down here. And I might have to, after I get him glued down, After I get him glued down, I might trim a little off of the edge here. And then I was thinking that, see, I think I can go up a little bit further on his crotch area here. You go up just a little bit further in here. And same way with this one. So then I'm going to come back and glue him in here but i don't want this as a ridge so i might just glue it down and trim it off and then glue the other one on top so let's see how that works and then i'm going to give him a pair of boots and, and i'll probably do a little cuff on the on the maybe a red cuff because he's white or maybe even a white furry cuff and i'm going to do the jacket the same way and the jacket's going to have a hoodie i don't know if i'm going to do that separate or try to probably have to do it separate i'm going to put the santa face here now let's see how this one turns out 
I'm not, I'm just winging it here. I'm just doing it as I would if I were a child. <laughs> How do I do this one, Mom? You're doing it all wrong. Yeah, but he's going to turn out looking good. Actually, I think I'm going to cut this leg down a little bit more, too, because these are, to tell you the truth, these are just need to be armatures. He doesn't have to have pants on. Let's just cut him down. And that will give him more room in here for his arms and his jacket. And I might redo his shoulder up here too. We'll see when I get there. And let's do this one a little. Oh, let's cut this. He's got <laughs> oh. I got a, a lump there. There. Get out of there. Now this I think I'll cut up a little too. Like I said, I, I really just need an armature because the he's gonna get his thickness from the batting on here. Let's cut this in like this. Like that. All right. He doesn't look like much right now. Well, that fits him much better, doesn't it? I'm happier with that. So I want to glue this on. And then I'll probably trim it off. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this side. I might just paint it. Because the coat's going to cover it up. I haven't got to the coat yet. <laughs> so I'm thinking that I was going to use hot glue. But I think I can just use fine art glitter glue. He's a little fatter over here, isn't he? <laughs> He's not going to have any meat left on his bones when I get done. Santa Claus is really a skinny old guy. <laughs> it's just his coat that takes up all the bulk. Well, skinny he is. <laughs> all right. Let's glue him right in there. He needs... Uh, I'm not happy with his legs, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Because I can trim all that off if I have to. So let's... I'm going to try the fine art glitter glue. Hot glue, I have to heat up the glue gun and deal with all that mess. I'm not up for it tonight. And this is my first one, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, so let's just get these out of my way. I don't know, but I forget how far up he goes, the pants go. All right, let's put the pin in right away. And I don't know which one I was using. This one, I think. I don't know if this is one and done. We don't know. I've got plenty left over here, don't I? Will that hold it? Mm. 
Now, I wonder if I can bring this over, if that fine art glitter glue would hold it um, on the edge. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to trim it off. Let's do that with these. Let's trim this. Now remember, he'll have a coat on. So if you think Santa's going to have skinny legs, well, he might have skinny legs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's too bad. We're going to leave a little bit more on this side, though, I think. Let's cut it this way. I can always cut off. I can't glue back on. I kind of like that. Now, but we, let's give him a little more leg room in there. On this side. This is not a sewing project. <laughs> I'd be going nuts if I was trying to do this at the sewing machine. Uh, all right. I'm good with that. Um, then I'm going to take the other side and put over here and trim it to match these. I might try to glue, I don't know. I keep thinking maybe I could glue there, but I could put a white line down there for, for this as a craft project. We'll, we'll see how he turns out in the long run. We'll just try him. If he's, a, he's, if he's a failure, he's a failure. I won't go any further. <laughs> Let's throw this away. All right. Uh -oh. Let's get the... And to tell you the truth, the thicker ones were over on this side. Here. I think like that might be good. So let's... You can tell this is cotton batting because it just, it grabs onto everything. <sighs> All right, let's put some glue on this and see what happens. Let's see what happens. They're, they're sitting there going, let's see what how she does that coat. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet because I want it to fit up here. I'm going to have to do the arms. I don't know if I can glue the coat on. We'll, we'll give him a top. We'll give him a top first. And I'm just going to glue a little piece on there. And he'll have a beard. Let's put give him a face here. Let's pick out a face for him. Which one do we want? Oh, they're all scattered. Where's my Santa faces? Where'd they all go to? There's three of them. I kind of partial to this one. Maybe up further. He's got a red hoodie already, or a brown hoodie. Let's see if I have a, a little piece in there. Then I just figure out how to do his coat and gonna have, it's going to have a black belt. Did I bring that leather out? I thought I brought out that leather. 
I had those leather strips. I don't know if I brought them out. He's kind of skinny in there. But if he put if I put that coat on there, I don't need to I don't need to uh glue it on the back too much. Let's just finish this. I like this one. We're going to do this face first. So you can kind of get an idea. Oh, let's put his pants on him. What did I do with his pants? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we'll just, we'll glue his pants on him. That'll make him stay up. Santa's, well, you know, these were old-fashioned Santa's, and they're not typically fat. If you look at the old pictures of them, they're not the big fat tummy Santa's that you see their Father Christmases. Whoops, got that caught on my sleeve. I want to put this pin back in the glue. Right away, I find if I do it, less chance of it getting clogged up. All right, now let's see what I want to do here. Maybe right in there. See, I'm thinking I can bring up a bit of glue around the edge here. So when I trim this, let's leave a little edgy edge to it. And I'm thinking I can just glue this like that and glue it down. Let's try that, see what happens. After I put that back in way. He might turn out cute, who knows? Who knows? I didn't have a plan. I just said I'm gonna make them tonight. That was my plan. Okay. I think that's working. I should have done it the other way, though, but I can call this the front and not the back. I mean, he's kind of, right now, he's kind of, this is the back, and the coat will be on the back. The coat will cover this and the belt. Let's get this glued down here. I kind of like that. As you can see a ridge there, but really I'm I'm okay with that because I, I'm gonna make this this back and this is front. So uh, I think I want just a little bit off of this. How much is a little bit? It's hard to cut it. Get this hand out of the way. If you're a sewer, you're probably cringing. <laughs> if you're a distressed, distress artist who works a lot with distressed stuff, who doesn't mind goofiness, it isn't going to bother you as much. 
All right, now I'm going to bring this and glue this down on here. I don't know if I do that on the inner legs too. Maybe just tack some glue in there. Let's just do a little because it really doesn't need much. Let's put a little let's put a little in here. And just kind of Like I said, this is the back. I'm not sure I'm happy with that, but it's going to be okay. Did I do this? I haven't done this yet. I'm not sure about this. It kind of... <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself here. This isn't really holding down like I thought it would. I'm going to leave it for now. Let's try this side. I'll put a, a line of glue down here. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Penelope. I'm going to pick a towel. Or better yet, let's break into... Where are they? Let's break into these. And I got it at the thrift store, the Goodwill. Not this last time, but a couple times ago. Baby wipes. Alcohol wipes. That glue will be dried by the time I get over there. Open. Oh, we can close that up again. I want to wipe this off. Put my pen back in. I don't know how that will stay, but all right, where's my uh, probably dried by the time I got to it here. It's not not exactly what I wanted. It's not that bad though. Let's trim this off a little more. How skinny are you going to make that, Santa Claus? He's going to be a pretty skinny guy. Trim him off this way. That cotton daddy catches on to stuff. It's very fibery. All right, there are his pants. We're going to call that good. Except for right there. What's going on there? What's going on there? Got a nub. All righty. There's his pants. Um, one, leg's, one leg is shorter than the other. I can trim that off. Still a little shorter. And I don't know if I can get it trimmed off anymore. And 
that's hard to get out. We're going to put boots on him anyway. All right. So the shirt. <sighs> I don't know if I want to make it out of cotton batting. Or if I want to try a fabric. What do you guys think? It's just going to be a, a t-shirt. His beard will cover up the neckline. I think he's going to turn out. I didn't plan on anything on the back. I'll just do a hoodie on the back. And the head is there just for... He's just an armature is all he is. Maybe a red shirt. Do you think? Let's see what I have for red fabric. I've got all sorts of red fabric. I had a whole sack of it. What did I do with that? Did I put that in the other room? Or did I put it over here? Uh, reaching for it. Got a whole sack of it here. Let me come out and see what you guys are saying. I'm, I'm in my world. <laughs> I'm in my world. Top chat, live chat. Let me down at the bottom. Sharon Marlow says she's still here gluing in her journal. I've been watching your journal, Sharon. I've been watching your journal. Was I out of frame? Let me tip my camera a little. I was probably all out of frame when I did this Santa. Good, because you didn't see all the goofiness that I did. Let me bring them down a little now. There. All right. Becky said, I just went and got my shower and PJs on, and it sure does look like that happened. Did everyone fall asleep? <laughs> it gets real quiet in here sometimes, Becky. They can't figure out what I'm doing. This is Santa with no shirt on. <laughs> Actually, he, he doesn't look too bad, does he? Once I get a coat on him, the coat is going to be the challenge. Because I want it to, I want the sleeves, but I want the, I want it to wrap around him. I might have to do the wraparound for, I'm not sure how I'm going to, I'll, I'll figure that out later. Let's look at this. Did everyone fall asleep? Kitty Jen says, are you going to mail out the dolls, Mary, or do a giveaway with them? Actually, I was thinking that I'd put them in my journal because I don't know how they're going to look, Kitty Jen. I'm not real sure. I wasn't thinking of a giveaway. I need to catch up with my mailing before I do any more giveaways. I just cannot do another giveaway and dig myself in any deeper. So as much as I'd like to, I could maybe do some postcards. <laughs> you know, copy them and do a postcard of them. Um, I could probably do that. We'll see how it goes. Sharon, Sherry Van says that's very sweet. Oh, st this is where Stacy Catitude said she'd be live Christmas Eve and day. So, yeah, Becky, I guess everybody fell asleep. <laughs> it's looking good. <laughs> Santa Claus. He says, put a shirt on me, Mary. Oh, we'll do that. Let's pick out some red. Um, I would like maybe a red... Uh, something not silky because that will be kind of hard for me to handle. I thought I had some red here, this kind of a woolish, uh, feltish. I think this is a wool, it could be a felt, synthetic felt, probably. Let's go with that for the shirt. <laughs> we could give him a, we could give him a, <laughs> a shirt like that. That looks kind of good. He's got hearts on him. I don't know. I kind of like that. Let's hold that out. All right. Let's put everything. In. Oh, got all my Santa's faces. Anything else there? No. All right. I don't know. I kind of like that wild checky red. 
for a shirt just because it's not going to be a big shirt. It's just going to be kind of like a little t-shirt almost on him. Let's take the face off of him. And I'm not even going to worry about fraying on it. I'm not going to worry about, let's do a pattern. I, I kind of like this fabric because this is kind of, it, it's nicer to work with. I don't have to worry about fraying, but it's also thicker. So we'll see. Right now I'm going to try this. Let's cut a pattern. I'm just going to tear a piece of paper off here. Let's cut a pattern. I don't know what I did with that leg pattern. It's here somewhere. I should set it up here. All this other stuff could be thrown on not my scissors sheath. Let's get some of this stuff off of my desk. Let's draw a a shirt pattern here. Now I don't want it, I don't want him to have sleeves on the shirt. I just want to just uh, cover up his abs. <laughs> so let's uh, just kind of draw his shoulders in here and in here. And I have no idea how this is going to turn out, to tell you the truth. So let's just say this is kind of like an armhole. This is a neckline. And this is a neckline. That I'm going to add a little bit for gluing. I can always trim off. I can always trim. And here again, I'm I'm kind of worried about the arms, so I might just glue a shirt on him. But we'll add a little anyway, and I can trim it down. So let's cut this out. Whoops. Gotta let me get this fabric out of my lap. That was fun. <laughs> I knew right where that red fabric was. That's that's a newbie for me. What time is it? It's 9 13, so I'm only gonna be on till 10. So I knew I wouldn't get all these Santa Clauses done, but we did get the card embellishments done. Now, I really don't want sleeves. Um, I don't want sleeves on him. I'm just going to kind of cut it like that for now. And we'll see what happens. I might have to redo this. I wasn't thinking sleeves on him. But I do want a neckline. So we're going to cut that out. And let's see how this fits on him. And I'm going to glue it on him again. I think that's going to work. Uh, this might be a little tricky in here. But you know, it goes like this. So that fits on here better. These arms are kind of weird arms. So let's cut this out of... And I'll probably not match the patterns here. But it's okay because he's going to have a coat on anyway. And let's just... Let's just cut. I'm just going to... Uh, actually, I should turn this inside out. Let's turn it inside out when I draw on it. Poor Santa faces. I keep knocking them with my arms here. Alrighty. And here again, this is a craft project. It's not a sewing project. Because <laughs> I would I would have a I'd have an issue with the sewing project. They probably in the in the days of yore when they made cotton batting dolls, they probably stitched the outfits and everything but they weren't streaming live either 
<laughs> so that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. But, you know, I might do another one. And because I'm drawing it on the back, let's do it, give it more. I'm afraid that I don't have this even in here. Let's give it more room here. I'll just use that for a cluster or something. Uh, poor little Santa. And I could do different colors of shirts. They won't all be this red, but I kind of like this red fabric. All right, let's cut this out. No pins. <laughs> Just going to whack away at it. I should probably put a pin in there before I cut it. Hold it together. Penelope, where are you? Let's put a pin in there. Just kind of hold it for me while I cut it here. All right, we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> I get all these little scrappies on my desk and they drive me nuts. I was going to work a little in my December daily, but that's not going to happen. I'll have to come early Monday morning. I was thinking about streaming early Sunday morning. Uh, I still might, but I don't know. I get pretty tired when we go out like that, and it tires me out. So if I'm if I'm exhausted when I come home, I don't know if I'll be able to get up the next morning. Um, I don't know if Chris is Chris when she streams on Sunday. I think she streams. What is it? Eight to nine, seven to eight. I'd be off by then because I don't like to spend my Sundays on Sunday mornings. I like to have that from my spiritual time. Uh, get this pen head in the way here. It's my time to my quiet time of I go to an online church or let's say it's a local church that has an online service but it's really too far for me to drive every Sunday it's too far for me to go every Sunday I've been there physically but they they stream their church services which makes it really nice for me because, gosh, I was spending money on gas and I went with my skin and bones friend here. And then we'd go out and eat and go shopping. <laughs> and by the time I got home every week, that tore into my budget. All right. Let's. This might be a little bit different than the cotton batting. Let's see what happens here when I put his shirt on him. <laughs> Santa, you're really cute. You're really looking cute, guy. I'm kind of liking him. Where's his head? Santa, where's your head? Oh, I think he's going to be cute. Now, I have to figure out his jacket yet. <laughs> I 
I should put some trim of this fabric down here as a piece. Little hearts. All right, I'm liking him. He's kind of like a paper doll. This jacket I'm going to have to figure out a little bit differently. Um, I might have to bring this. Let's turn it this way. I might have to trim this. Let's glue it on first and trim it as I see fit. Let's bring this down a little more. Bring it down this way a little more all right we're going to glue this on his torso area here i can draw because that'll all be covered up right in here around there and then see this needs to be kind of trimmed So the glue will all go up in here. And I really, to tell you the truth, I didn't want much of a sleeve, but it kind of looks like a sleeve there. And I'm just going to put a, a line of glue there. All right, I don't know which one I had. I'm going with I'm going with this one. Right in here. Ooh. <laughs> Where's his head? Santa, I keep losing your head for you. Yeah, I think that works. Kind of looks like a, a summer Santa with the short sleeves, but once I get his long coat on him, he'll again. And I really don't need to do a, a piece on the back, but I'm going to, but I think I'm going to trim this in here a little. Um, let's, we could just fold it around. Let's trim it. kind of hard to trim Let's trim this. This could be trimmed a little more. I can hardly see where I'm going here. I'd probably do better with a a blade than in here kind of hard to get in with my scissors <laughs> all right now when we put the back piece on him i think it'll cover up a lot of this messiness over here so let's trim it around here just trimmed up around in there All right, so the back piece is going to go on here, but see, it can be trimmed down too. But I want to make sure I have it neat in the same spot. I might bring this around. Now, this is the back because, see, it's the pet. I could put more cotton batting on top of this, but I'm going to have the coat on him anyway. 
this is the front. So let's think I'll. Would it make sense to trim it while I'm off? No, I don't think so because I want these to meet. I'll trim it after I get it glued on. What time is it? It's 9.26. So I'm only going to be on till 10. If I stay on too late, I get so tired. I get so tired, you guys. I'm getting old. I can't take these hours anymore. I'm just marking this so I know where to put the glue. And I'll hunt out the leather. I'll hunt out the leather because I got leather pieces and I'm going to make him a leather belt and maybe leather gloves. We'll see. Let's take this and wipe that off. It's still juicy. Still juicy. All right. There. I want it up a little higher and a little straighter. This is the back. Now, how do I want, what do I want to do here? Do I want to glue that down? Let's trim it under his arm there, which means I have to trim it here. There. Trim it along his shoulder area. And I think I'm going to try that trick of what well, this is the, I really want this down this way. Uh, if I try gluing this there, it will mess up the front unless I pick the front up and glue this down and put the front over. It's probably what I should have done. Let's glue that down. Let's see if that'll glue down. It's a pretty wild shirt for Santa for Father Christmas. He probably would have had a blue shirt, maybe a blue plaid shirt. But it'll be kind of covered up with his coat, which I'm hoping that I can do. Coat, I think, is going to be the hardest. Because it'll have long sleeves. Whoops, I need to... I need to tuck this in. Here. Can we tuck in? Let me, yeah. You will. And I'll put it like that. I kind of like that. I think that's going to be, it's not perfect. But I'm not going for perfection. I'm just going to get it done. I'm going to lift this up. 
here. I'm going to get that Santa Claus, that cotton off of it. It's glued on. And I'm going to snip. There. And then I'm going to bring this back fabric make a slit there I think I did around the side and glue that down and then glue this on top of it that's my plan and I'm sticking to it that's my story and I'm sticking to it Like that. And then I'm going to take the shirt, the front of the shirt, and glue over it. He's kind of got a fat tummy up. <laughs> He's got a, <laughs> He's got a, a flat chest and a fat abdomen. <laughs> if you could, I don't know if it shows that much, but if you could feel it, you could feel it. Because the cotton batting ends, where the, the cotton batting ends right there. There. All right, Santa, I'm good with your shirt. <laughs> and then his head will go on here. He's not too bad of a Santa, is he? Let's wipe this nozzle off again. Uh oh, I lost the pen. Oh my goodness, what it where's the pin? I lost the pin. Here it is. I didn't put it back in there. I usually I'm pretty good about putting it back, but I missed it there. Let's put it in here before I lose it again. All right. He's kind of a glued together guy, but I kind of like him. I kind of like him. So I think the jacket, the overcoat is going to be the hardest for me. Because I want it to come clear down here. And I want it to have sleeves all right i might have to do well let's just draw let's draw a pattern out of this wonderful paper that was given to me at the thrift store wrapped my little elky in there and my bell my christmas bell Let's try another head. Let's just try the different heads. I like this one. We got this one too. Now see this one's he's kind of looking off. I don't know. I've got is this maybe the side view of the Santa? I wonder if my others are that. I don't know. I might just make an embellishment out of this one because he's kind of big. Here he's too small, but he still fits. Well, let's put him on this. He still fits on there. Actually, he looks kind of good there, doesn't he? He doesn't have a hoodie on. This one has a hoodie on. And this one, I think, is way too big. I think I'll make a bobby pin embellishment out of him. Here's another one like this. This one is awfully big, too, maybe. But, you know, I've cut this down. I don't know. I think some of these are, I knew when I was doing them that they were too big. So I've got 
at least three that I can do. This one fits. And I can print more of these. This one fits. And then this one. This one looks off to the side again. So I don't know if the ones looking off to the side would really work on this particular paper doll. Um, I might be able, because see, he's facing me. His arm would have to be over here. Uh, I thought I did a side view of one, but I may have not cut him out. I may have not cut him out. These are all front views. Um, <clears throat> I think I made all front views. No, here's this is a kind of a side view one. He's really slender. That kind of works though, doesn't it? He's he's facing this way a little. See his feet are facing that way. That might work. Uh, his arm is kind of in the wrong place, but I can move that. I can adjust his arms if I need to. So this is a possibility if I get that far. <laughs> uh, and then I got one more here. And that's this one. I like this one too. So what I have cut out, I've got five, one, one, two, three, four, five. And I, I've only got eight of these. Well, and if I do that one side view, that would make it six. So I really only need two more faces. And we'll see if I get that far. <laughs> I have a challenge with the coat. Because I want it long. Let's do it two of them here. Well, I'll do two of them and then... Okay, I want to cut it double. Will it fit? Will it fit this way? I'm going to fold it this way. Yeah. Just barely fits. And then... There's my pen. See, the coat, too, has a hoodie and a collar. But for now, we're just going to make the... The armholes here. And I want I want to put... Uh, see, and I'm thinking that I'm going to have trouble with... But if I glue it on, you know, I could just glue it down like I did on this. We'll see. Glue the arms down. and So I want the coat to open up in the front. Let's just draw. And the legs should be there. So I want the coat on the front. This is an arm here. And let's just draw his... Imagine his hand coming out here. We won't cut out the hand, but we need to imagine it. How did I have this? This isn't fitting. Here, there. And then this is the other hand there. So this kind of comes there. And see, I want to, I'm going to put a, a cuff on it like that and a cuff on it like that and then I want a collar so I want it to come down like that and I want it to open I want this to open up so I might make it shorter in the front and then see his legs would come his legs would come down in here and so the back of it would be all closed. Can I do that in the same manner? Looks like that would be Santa's pajamas without his coat. <laughs> He's kind of wild, isn't he? His shirt. Uh, a Father Christmas would not have a 
a shirt like this, but I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. And it will be covered up mostly with the coat. And I think I'll put a, in his beard, see his beard here. His beard covers up this part. Even if I put it up higher. I think I'm, I don't know, I think I'm on to, let's just cut two of these. Um, I'm going to take that pen again and put it in here. I mean, this is not meant to be, it's not meant to be, you know, super duper. Uh, I, I did want Father Battenberg batting, cotton batting Santas, but it's kind of my version of them. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, I, I think I'm fairly happy with it. Now, I had a collar here. So I think I'm going to kind of leave a little ridge there. And I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that over here too. Before I cut it out. Just a little ridge because this will be a collar. Now if, if I was cutting this as two pieces, what I could do is cut one flat piece and then come back in and glue a collar on it. Because I'm doing, like I said, I'm not sewing this. This is not a sewing project. <laughs> I would need Becky if it were a sewing project because it, it would be way more advanced than I could do. It's more of just a crafty paper doll, I guess you could call it, in a sense. I'm having fun. I'm having fun doing it. Let's just whack away at this. Get it off of the. Get it out of my. Off of my table. Now. See this coat. I don't think I want the front. I could try to fold it over. I could just cut it here and try to fold it over like a collar. But I don't think I will. I think I'll cut this short. Let me cut it off first. Let me cut two pieces the same. And then I'll redo the front. And I'm going to leave the shoes on here for now. Because, well, no, let's take them off. And I should probably take the hands off too. I was just visualizing his hands. I'll cut the hands off after I get the. But see, I think I'm going to have trouble in here, in the arms part. Now let's cut the hands off here. Yeah. And I'm going to leave that. I think I'm going to have trouble in here because this is awful skinny in there. And so let's just cut a slit up there, but I don't know. I think I'm going to have trouble with it. And let's cut this one off. And See how this coat fits him. Now, I'm going to do this part up here. Let's see. I think I said I wanted a... So I'm going to cut a neckline in there. But let's take this off as the front, and this is the back. So the back... No, the back does pretty good. It could be a little fatter on the arm. Well, let's put it on there. And, it, you know, it does come way down, which is what I want. Because it's, it's going to be dragging to the ground. Oh, 
I'm going to get the scraps off. Oh, Father Christmases. That's a pretty wild top, isn't it? <laughs> Got a little wild with that top. All right. This is the this arm here. This really isn't fitting too well. It 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 looks okay on the back though. If I glue it down. And that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing with the pants. I glued them down. But I kind of wanted the back open. I could glue the top of it or I could glue the arms down. And then leave this so that you could We'll see. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Let's let's wrestle with the get get the heads out of the way. Let's wrestle with this. Now this I kind of wanted to open up. So I'm going to have two pieces here. One here. And that's what I was saying. I'm going to cut them a little shorter. So this would go over here like this. But I think I'm going to have to cut it a little bit bigger because it's too, it's it just fits. But it, it's going to have to be a little bit fatter. So I might have to redo that. And this one is going to come over here. But let's open it up a little too. like so like that and that's why i was saying see his shirt isn't going to show that much and then once you get his beard on it i mean his head on him he's not going to show too much and i'd probably put a rope belt on him and bring that down a little something like that Something like that. But I don't want to glue. I, I think I want to glue the arms down. May, maybe make this a little shorter. This arm a little shorter so his hand sticks out. And this arm a little shorter. So I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do this front pattern again. And make it a little bigger. Just make it a little bit bigger. And I'm not going to glue. I'm not going to glue this down to this. I'm going to let it hang open. And I, I feel like the same way there. I think the only place where I'm going to glue this. Is on the arms. So. Or maybe up here at the chest so that the coat will kind of open up if I want it to. All right, Santa. Let's, I, I think I'm pretty happy with the back. Let's look at the back again. The back, this arm here could be, have a little bit more fabric on it. And he's going to have a hood. He's going to have a hoodie on here. We'll have to do the hoodie. Oh, let's see how this fits on here. I think I can open this up just a little bit more here. Let's get that with other scissors. Let's open this up a little more. Just a teeny bit more. So if I cut this out of cotton batting and just glue... I want it to want it to come clear to the floor. So glue it down there. This doesn't really fit in here. I like this. I think I could make that a little it just barely 
too sad just to let me write. I'll probably redo both patterns. Add little right along in here. And then over here, this needs to be adjusted. Let me draw in here. Because his arm comes up this way. And then, see this is all off. So this needs to be brought down this way. Just hold it like that. Whoops. Well, let's, let's do it this way. I'm pretty happy with how this fits in here, but in here, it's off. And this is way off over here. This needs to come down straighter. So let me... Did I draw? Yeah, I did. So when I draw this, I'll make my cuff come up like that and in there. And then this needs to come up this way a little bit more. Like that. So I'll cut another pattern. I'm getting tired. What time is it? 9.52. I'll work on this again. I'll probably only get one Santa doll done. Maybe two if I'm lucky before Christmas. But that's okay. I don't need to. I don't need 10 million of them. Uh, I can make bobby pins embellishments out of these. I would like to do a Scrooge doll. And I could see making one of these a Scrooge doll and make a bobblehead. A Scrooge? <laughs> Um, I think I'm pretty happy with this. This is the back. This is the front. I think I'm pretty happy with him once I get him all dressed and everything. I think he's going to turn out fine. I'll put this on here. Whatever I do to the back of this hand, I have to do to the front. So this needs adjusting. And where's the other side of his coat? Did I throw it away? Oh no. Did I throw that away? <laughs> I might have thrown it. Did I throw your coat away? Santa? I don't see it here. Now what did I do with it? I did throw it away. So you have, like I said, I'll repeat one more time. This is not a sewing project. This is a crafty project. Consider this a, a paper doll type thing. And see, he's going to come like that. Now, this is going to be cotton batting. It's not going to be a brown coat, although the brown coat looks pretty good on him. Well... Since I cut this already, it's flopping around on me. Like that. Up, Mary. Something like that. If I can hold him. And like, that face makes all the difference, doesn't it? The face makes all the difference. There it is. I'm going to leave him alone. But imagine this as being cotton batting. <sighs> Hi, Shannon. Happy holidays to you. Art Junkie, Crochet and Mixed Media Arts. This is Shannon. Hi, Lala. Lala, do you have a link for Lizzie's GoFundMe handy? Are you out there, Lala? Lala, are you there? She said she's making a blanket for her great-granddaughter due in January. 
It's bigger than a baby blanket, but I always made them big for my granddaughter and her to snuggle up with. She says, one moment. Um, Lizzie's daughter, Lizzie Brewer, for those of you who know Lizzie Brewer, her daughter took her own life and uh, they're raising money to help pay for the funeral for the GoFundMe. It's a GoFundMe. And Barb Owen dropped a link in her chat today. Um, I want to contribute, but I'm kind of waiting to see what happens. <laughs> it might be January before I can do anything. Um, February, uh, December is going to be really tight for me. Uh, I got hit with some extra doctor bills that I wasn't expecting. And I kind of have to wait and see what's going to happen with those. So, um, but I want to share the link. Lala's going to go get the, you have until April to, yeah, that's good. Um, you're free to drop a link in here, or if you have until April, Lala, you're free to drop a link in any one of my live streams. I haven't said much about it because I don't know too much about it and I don't want to overstep my, because sometimes I can put my foot in my mouth. I think Lala's going off to get the link. While she's doing that, let's see. Um, she says, happy holidays and blanket hellos to all of you. Kitty Jen says, happy holidays, Stacy. Stacy says, okay, I've got one stop before bed. Happy holiday. I think Becky ran off to bed. Uh, no, she says, have a wonderful... Yeah, she said, well, Tippy is saying it's bedtime, so I'm going to say good night. Yeah, it's getting close to 11 o'clock on the East Coast, so, yeah. And it's... I'm getting tired myself. I've got two minutes here <laughs> before I... I want to wait till Lala gets that link. Um... Sharon Milo was here. Crafty, Crafty Jan. <laughs> Crafty Jan was in here. I'm just kind of looking back over chat. Uh, Stacy May. Aunt Beck. Uh, Mina was here earlier. Sherry Van. Teresa. Did I say hello to Teresa? I can't remember. Teresa. Allie K popped in. Joyce Boring was here. She says, so many are sick. Yeah. Um, Teresa's family. Teresa, if you're alone on Christmas, you come into the some of the streams and spend some time with us. We'll keep you company. Becky was crocheting on her hat this evening. Kitty Jen. Becky also did a Goodwill Haul video stream. I want to go watch it after I'm done here this evening. Uh, Barb Fillion popped in. Barb, it was so good to see you. And she's probably gone to bed herself. She's up in Canada. Ruth was here earlier. Ruth, um, uh, Ruth Lamb. And I can't go up any further. Sharon, Sharon Marlowe was in here. Ruth is from Nova Scotia. Dang. Oh, there's Barb. He's very cute. He's kind of cute even with this paper coat on, isn't he? But I also, I want to make this out of white cotton batting. And I'm going to have to adjust the arms here to fit him better. His arm really comes down here. But, oh, I'm messing him up. I just got him all, I just got his head put on him right. Now I miss. I want this as a thumbnail. Lala says, thank you, Mary. I'm the one doing this. And please let many people know as you can. Okay. Up above, right above where Bob Billion says my Santa is cute. Um, Lala dropped a link to Lizzie Brewer's um, GoFundMe to help pay for the funeral costs and we got until april to contribute 
So I'm sure anything that you can contribute would be appreciated. So <laughs> Barb says, don't knock his block off, Mary. <laughs> I actually I have several blocks here to if I if I I kind of like this one too. He looks very studious here. <laughs> um I'm thinking though uh, I'd like to do a Scrooge doll. So um Christmas is right around the corner. I don't know if I'll get eight of these done. I have eight different eight different Santa faces. And I cut out eight paper dolls, but it's taken me some time just to do one. I think I'll be happy with a Santa and a Scrooge. So, Lala, any time between now and and uh, the time that April, if you pop in, you can pop in that. Let me know um, so that I can call attention to your link. Um, do a at Mar the Marriottier like what Barb did above. Well. Barb, I because it shows up in in orange and red for me. Um, just let me know so that I can not that I need to know, but I can call attention to the link. Um, this is for Lizzie Brewer. Lala says we may extend the GoFundMe longer if needed. Mary Lizzie is struggling. Okay. Well, this is not the time of the year to struggle, let me tell you. Um, I want to contribute to it, but I just, I don't think I can do it in December. Uh, and I need to see, I have, I got hit with some unexpected bills and I'm trying to work that out and we'll see how that turns out. Um, we'll just see what happens. So I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I will be on Christmas morning real early. I want to shoot for 4.30 in the morning. I will not be on Sunday night, but Stacy Stacy Catitude said that she's going to be on Sunday, Christmas Eve night. So um, you might, if you're around and you want to stream, pop into a stream, you might try Stacy. See who else is on Christmas Eve, Monday nights. I don't follow Monday nights very well. Uh, I'm not very good at following any Monday streams. There are streams all over the place. But I will, I'm going to shoot for 4.30 Monday, but it depends on how tired I get and how much sleep I can get. And uh, Dee Dee will be streaming Monday morning, her regular time at 8.30 Eastern. I don't know about Janet Nash. Christmas is on Monday. So Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas to you, Sharon Marlowe and, and Kitty Jen and Lala and Becky and Beth, <laughs> Barb Fillion. So thanks for popping in. Uh, I will work on this guy probably Monday morning because I don't get in here when I'm not streaming. Uh, if I get in here, I've got to clean up more on my mess in that little craft room. I'm going to be doing some slow stitching probably tomorrow. So Merry Christmas, everybody, and hopefully I'll see you Christmas morning. Bye.